Fellas Fitness is a group for men aged over 50 who want to get some exercise again but don't want the pressure of a gym. This is, this is very convenient, very local and it's you know, tremendous value for money. We're in Old Wellin at Love to Dance and this is always on a Thursday morning between 10 and 12. It is 50 up to 80. Everybody does what they feel they can do and everybody enjoys it. It was originally started by HSP and I think the plan of HSP all along was to try and make the group self-sufficient in due course. So we started that journey in April of last year uh, and in April of this year we became fully independent. We are self-sufficient but do have a very important relationship with HSP who provide help and guidance along the way. With the age range that we're in, people are losing their husbands, wives, and they feel that they can switch their minds off. You can't focus on anything else when you're dancing. So we walk out with a bounce in our steps and a feeling of lightness and a feeling of joy, whatever is going on in our lives. The Hearts Coast Association is a great opportunity uh, as a collective voice to communicate uh, about coaching opportunities. Rob Harwick and his team speak to us on a regular basis, making sure that our coaching qualifications are up to date, making sure that our child protection safeguarding uh, qualifications are up to date. In February, the Heart Sports Partnership run a really strong programme. Coaches get the opportunity to, up to upskill and improve. Really key to us is to make sure that coaches feel that they're supported in Hertfordshire. Any support we can give to coaches in the, in the Hertfordshire areas is fantastic. We were a school sports partnership and we basically we deliver opportunities for young people to participate in sport. So the whole idea is to increase participation and retain the Olympic, Paralympic legacy. We're helping young people and that's our primary focus and we're helping them to, to achieve through sport and to raise their aspiration through sport. Hot Sports Partnership has opened my eyes to the world of work. It's given me a lot of opportunities to broaden my skills, to get more involved in sporting opportunities in Hertfordshire and it's also boosting my confidence. We're finding that youngsters aspire and do gain a lot from taking part in the apprenticeship. The Heart Sports Partnership are just so supportive and we would like to thank them from, from the bottom of our hearts because they do help us out and it's been really challenging over the last few years and just to know that they're there has been brilliant for us so thank you. You get experience and you're also getting a qualification at the end of it as well so for me personally I would definitely suggest it. The Active Students Project is a three year funded project from Sport England that is run by the Heart Sports Partnership. The idea behind the project is that we increase uh, sport and physical activity participation across higher education. It's designed for those that have never really been involved in sport before or those that thought sport wasn't, really wasn't for them when they came to university. By coming to the Active Student Session I was getting that little bit of extra exercise. I could turn up for free and I could just enjoy myself for an hour and at the same time bring some friends and also get a little bit fitter. So I've gone from sort of the quiet shy kid who didn't really want to talk to anyone that I didn't know and, and I've gone from that sort of angle to becoming someone who could just go up to anyone and try and just get them just to come along and have some fun with us. I'm Janet Warrington and I am the Disability Sports Development Officer for Special Olympics East Hearts. My name's Tony Lloyd, we're at Watford Boxing Club. It provides training and fitness for young people of all ages. When they, the children reach the age of 19, they leave the school. There was nowhere for them to go. We needed the money to be able to get out there, talk to people, explain how it can be done, and then, um, and then help start the club so they could be sustainable. It was after some funding. They helped us um, get a grant together. It's allowed us to put on extra sessions. It's give us more equipment in the gym. We went from, well, two and a half clubs to now 14 and, and we've got other ones coming on board. It's making it more normal and I think with the Paralympics and the legacy of that, everybody suddenly now is thinking, actually, these guys are really brave. One of the things that we've done with some of the funding was um, have a website um, put together and uh, it's made a big difference. Funding has, has helped tremendously, you know, and hopefully, you know, in five years' time, you know, we'll be you know, in a bigger and better premises than what we are now, you know, that's, that's, that's the goal, you know, to move forward.